Hi friends! Today we're out at West Seattle and the plan is to kayak to Blake Island, which is a state park uh, that's an island and it's only accessible by boat. It's the only way to get there so we're unloading some kayaks and getting ready to go. This is my friend Jared, and I love going on adventures with him because he's always down for anything. When I suggested this trip, uh, he immediately responded to my text message with a, you had me at a, I have a cool idea. I would definitely recommend a buddy when you're going into open water. There's any number of things that could go wrong. Jared's really scared of a whale eating us, uh, probably because I showed him a video of a whale eating a kayaker a couple weeks ago. That was my bad. You know, you could get hit in the head with a paddle, you could get knocked over by a wave, you could get run over by a boat. We are crossing shipping lanes on the Puget Sound, so uh, there's a lot of things to kind of prepare for and just to make sure um, don't happen. Actually, let me show you the kayaks we're using. So these are the kayaks that I've had for a number of years. I think my mom bought these when I was like 10 years old. And they're nice. Uh, they're actually, they're like um, river kayaks, I think. They're a little bit wider, a little bit shorter than a sea kayak, which should be nice because the sea kayak, I don't feel super comfortable taking that out without a ton of experience because it could tip. Uh, so this is gonna be a little bit more stable. We do have a little bit of storage here. This is all uh, supposedly waterproof. We'll see how well it works. And the cabins are nice, a little bit of space beneath the seat. Um, there's a little bit of lumbar support here. And um, plenty of space. It's a nice little kayak. So we'll see how it performs. Here's where we're going today. This is the uh, broken chair from our Airbnb. We're heading out from Alki Beach. Here's Alki. Uh, we've got downtown Seattle over there. Bainbridge, here's Vashon and we're going to this little island called Blake Island. And then it's just a matter of kayaking across the sound. Shipping lanes go right through here, so there's gonna be container ships and a couple other larger industrial ships to watch out for, but um, I think it should be okay. This is about four to five miles across, so we'll see how it goes. The hatch in the kayak is kind of small and I have to fit a number of things. So, uh, you know, safety first, we are wearing life jackets. And then I read online that you should use a radio when you're uh, crossing shipping lanes. So this is a, a submersible, floatable, waterproof uh, radio and seems like it works. And then I've also got uh, plenty of water, a RX bar, an apple, and I'm gonna make a peanut butter sandwich. I uh, think a hat for the sun will be nice. And then I always like adventuring in my chacos, so I'm packing those. Uh, in terms of camera gear, I've got the GoPro here with a number of accessories, and then the FX3, which I'm shooting with right now. And that's all gonna fit in a backpack, and it should probably be a tight fit, but I think everything's going to be okay. More than anything, it's my uh, hands. My grip strength isn't quite up to par. 
stopping for a little bit of water. It was a little cold getting started, but the sun's starting to come out and uh, feeling pretty good. I do regret only wearing cotton. I have a dry shirt in the back of the boat and I'll change that once we get there. But, um, you know, cotton doesn't dry super fast. The view's beautiful, we're about halfway. Let's keep paddling. We made it! That actually wasn't too bad. Um, I don't know how long it took. How long did that take? Hour 26 minutes. Hour 26 minutes, and how far did we get? 3.9 miles. Hey, that's not bad. Nope. And it's beautiful here. We're gonna find a place for lunch and relax a little bit. It's very nice here. My sunglasses are all salted over and I can't see anything. But it's uh, pretty developed. It's like picnic tables and places to camp. I'm a little tired, but actually not too bad. I forgot my phone in the boat. I have to make sure to call Kendall because she was very nervous. Uh, she didn't really want us to go out. I'm afraid we were going to get run over by a boat or something. That's why I brought the radio. Uh, I figured, worst case scenario, um, I don't know, say, hey container ship, don't run me over. Maybe it would have worked, I don't know. But we didn't actually get close to any boats the whole time. Uh, we did cross the shipping lane on Puget Sound, and I read that you should bring a radio if you're doing that. So I did, and didn't need it. Where are you at? All right, on the island. You made it already? Yeah, we made it. Oh, I'm surprised. That was pretty fast. Yeah, not bad. Less than four miles. Turkey. Overall, I think that Blake Island is pretty cool. I think it would have been a little bit more fun if we were actually camping instead of like a half day trip because the island's really big. There's a lot of trails and things to explore. Argosy used to send boats out here so that anybody could go for a day trip. But right now that has all shut down and you can only get to the island with your own boat. So it's very quiet. There's not very many people there. And it kind of feels like an abandoned summer camp. We're heading back now. Here's what the cabin looks like. We've got the uh, paddles, life jacket, I've got a radio here uh, by my feet, and a little bit of water. Uh, also, a little dry bag with my cell phone, and GoPro supplies right there. Pretty simple. That was very tiring. The most I've ever kayaked is like, uh, I think four or five miles total here was like eight. Uh, so my forearms, my hands, my shoulders, everything's really hurting. Uh, I'm gonna take an ibuprofen and probably be very sore in the morning. We have some friends coming over for dinner, so um, I have like two or three hours to clean up maybe take a nap and get ready. In terms of everything being waterproof, I was pretty lucky. The hatch performed very well, and my clothes and most of the camera gear stayed completely dry. But the uh, GoPro box that I have was not as waterproof as I thought it was, so 
the and all of the GoPro supplies got completely drenched in salt water. I think that after washing everything off, it all survived. One battery did have a little bit of corrosion on it, but I was able to scrub it off with the toothbrush. Okay, I was going to get some footage of the party, but I'm terrible at vlogging. We're thinking about making a home in Seattle. Send me a message.